use set notation to list all the elements of this set. Now this is written in what we call set builder notation. It's read the set of all y, the colon is read as such that, so it's the set of all y such that y is an even natural number less than 6. Now obviously the first thing you have to think about is what is a natural number? A natural number is just another name for the a counting number, so the numbers you count with, 1, 2, 3, 4, and on and on and on, is a natural number. The less than 6 part tells us that we, we don't choose 6 or greater. So if you, don't, if you just look at what I've circled there, the natural number is less than 6, that would be 1, 2, in other words your counting numbers, less than 6, not less than or equal to 6, but strictly less than 6. But we, we're not looking at the word even yet. The even natural numbers are the ones that only include evens, so you, you have to eliminate 1, 3, and 5. So the even natural numbers less than 6, that set is the same as the set containing 2 and 4. Let's do another. Use set notation to list all the elements of this set. Now here we're not using set builder notation, but you're, you can see you've got a negative 21, a negative 17, negative 13, and then you've got this dot, 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 and you, your last element is 7. That dot, dot, dot implies that there's a pattern, so you have to find that pattern. And it's easy to see that each number is uh, 4 greater than the one before. In other words, the difference between those two numbers, two consecutive numbers, is 4. If you look at the difference between minus 21 and minus 17, that's 4 between minus 17 and minus 13, that's 4. So if you continue that pattern, if you add 4 to minus 13, you get negative 9. If you add 4 to negative 9, you get negative 5. If you add 4 to negative 5, you get negative 1. If you add 4 to negative 1, you get positive 3. And if you add three, uh, 4 to 3, you get 7. And 7 is the last thing given, so you know at this point you're done. So writing it out without the dot, 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 the ellipses, would give you the set containing negative 21, negative 17, negative 13, negative 9, negative 5, negative 1, positive 3, and positive 7. Let's try one more. It says use set builder notations. We're back to the set builder notation to express the set containing 6, 12, 18, 24. And again, the ellipses, dot, 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 means it continues that pattern forever. Now this time, what do you notice about 6, 12, 18, 24? I hope that you notice they're all multiples of 6. 6 times 1 is 6. 6 times 2 is 12. 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times 4 is 24. So that's sort of the, that's the pattern. So if I were going, going to write that in set builder notation, of course, I'd write, start off writing the set of all x such that, and eventually it'll be close. But what am I going to say about it? I could say, well, such that x is a multiple of 6. There's one thing about that is someone say, well, what about negative 6 or negative 12? And there aren't in there. Aren't negative 6 and negative 12 and negative 18 and negative 24? Aren't those multiples of 6 as well? To get around that confusion, I would add the statement about um, it having to be, also having to be a uh, natural number. Or if you'd rather say counting number. Remember, we've already talked about this, that a counting number and a natural number are the same thing. So I'm adding this phrase about it being a natural number or a counting number if you prefer so that there's no confusion about there not being any negatives up here. So it's the set of all x's such that x is a natural number or you could say counting number and a multiple of 6.